happy Friday. Thank you for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and it's a time where we can relax and craft together for about an hour. And I work on projects from beginning to end so you can be part of the whole process along the way. So thank you again. Uh, the replay of this will be up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies when we're done. I am going to, uh, we're going to continue on the Happy Willow block today. I think we're going to actually finish it fairly quickly. And then I'm going to show you John's uh, glass blowing stuff that he did at his glass blowing class with my dad uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, and if you guys are not watching Blown Away on Netflix, you should give that a, a look too. That is, you know, kind of like a, a competition show for glass blowing, and it's just fun and, and cute, and the stuff that they do is really kind of cool. And I'm watching it with John, uh, John today, so we can, uh, it's just, it's just like what he's doing, except, <laughs> you know, they're way more advanced. But I just love the stuff that John made, and I want to share it with you guys. I don't think we looked at it yet here. So, all right, I'm going to flip you guys around and uh, we'll get, uh, we'll look at the glass first and then we'll finish up this block and we may even sew some of the blocks together tonight. So thanks again, flipping you around. All right. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay. So we got really far on the block yesterday. Scooch this away. So uh, we are just about done here. We, got, we just have to sew all the pieces together. So we will sew these two pieces and then all, all the like five pieces together after that. So that is the plan tonight, but I wanted to show you guys John's, John's work that he made. So um, let's see, where should we start? So, well, I'll start with the paperweight. <laughs> so uh, they make um, they make a paper break. I think this is one of their their first projects and I just think it is so beautiful. He has uh, a little bit of yellow in there and just fun. So that is the paperweight. He and he even put my initials in the bottom. Isn't that sweet? Oh there we go. <laughs> but yeah so that's that sits on my desk. Um, they made these flowers by, yes, Barbara, John totally made these things. Isn't that crazy? I think they're so beautiful. So, uh, they, they practiced making flowers. So they had to pull, pull the glass for this and they had to have like these tweezers and they pulled out all these petals. Um, they got to play with color and everything. So he made this, he added a little twist to his. I think they also made clear versions of this just to, you know, get going. But that is the flower. Um, this is one of my favorite things he made. So it's just kind of like a, an ornament. So it hangs, it hangs by our window. It actually casts pretty colors. But look, so it's, it's clear glass with a couple, um, with uh, just neat bubbles and stuff in there. But look, it almost looks like oil. So I, I just think it's really pretty. But yeah, I think this is my favorite, my favorite thing that he made. So that, but yeah, in the middle of the day, it had, it throws like these specks of colors all over our wall. So that's really, really cool. And uh, um, they had a little time left. So they made a marble, but they had to get like a whole pile of color. Like this is actually lots of different layers of glass. To do that. So for a marble, it's actually a lot more going on than, than you think. So we got the little marble. And uh, then <laughs> uh, the thing that I, my mom and I wanted them to make going in was a glass because we bought some glasses when we were there. So he, he made this freaking cool glass that we use to drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a functional piece. I just think it's just so fun. So uh, this is this is the last the last thing that he made. So he made all of this and a white or a clear version of the glass, all in like 
a Saturday and Sunday afternoon, a, a little course, like a 10 to 4 type, type class uh, at Foci Glass in Northeast uh, Minneapolis here. But I just freaking love this glass and we drink coffee out of it and it insulates it. It's just so fun. But just, I mean, ugh, I love this clear glass with the sparkles on there. I mean, I just, it's just so freaking beautiful. And my mom and I actually, um, we, we did a bunch of other stuff, but we actually came back and just watched them make stuff because it was so fun and mes me mesmerizing. And I love my little, uh, my little uh, paperweight guy. So, all right, that, so that was his class. Nope, they didn't have anything break and I'm freaked out even handling all this stuff that I'm gonna break it, but I'm gonna put it uh, behind me, hopefully safely behind me. <laughs> Get some of these rolly guys. But yeah, just, it just seemed like a fun, fun, fun class and uh, he had a uh, just a really good time and the instructors just seem really good and stuff too so if you are in the Minneapolis area I would go check out foci glass f-o-c-i glass uh, that was just a really good really good course that he did a um, it was an intensive weekend course I think they only do that every once in a while otherwise it's a um, like a two night a week sort of, sort of thing over several weeks. But we wanted to, it was my dad's, I think, Christmas gift uh, from us. And then John last minute decided to do it too, <laughs> which is just kind of neat. So they got to do it together. All right, you guys, we are putting these pieces together. I want to try where we uh, match these up really well, like how we did yesterday. So I'm going to just lay it here to get going. My God, you guys, I am sweating. It is, it is uh, mid nineties today with a feels like temperature of like 113 um, from the humidity and ugh, just the weight of the heat and everything. It's just, ugh, it's a lot, it's a lot today. All right, I'm going to use my Wonder Clips again. I'm going to use that quarter inch mark uh, on on these seams just to see if we're lined up. We'll see see how we do. I think I'm just gonna use the Wonder Clips today. Yesterday we used the um, we used pins as well. I think today let's see if we can get away with the Wonder Clips. Leslie Ann, you're not feeling well from the heat. Oh my gosh, both of us today are so struggling. I mean, we, we're, we're pretty air conditioned in here and I'm, you know, I'm totally complaining and a lot of people are way further south and have heat and everything too, but, um, it's just so heavy. Like we're at a comfort, um, uh, it's a comfortable, uh, temperature inside the house. I'm by a window right here, so I'm pretty warm, but just the heaviness of the air I think is weighing us down a little bit. I'm just having like the worst concentration today. Maybe it's because it's Friday. That could be too. All right, I'm gonna flip this around and we'll see how close we are. Okay, so some things right away. Uh, this this point seems like it's gonna match up great. Uh, but this point here, these two points, it looks like I need to pull on my fabric a little bit. And there is kind of a little bit of a bubble there. So I'm going to just tug on my fabric a little bit and we'll redo these two seams. So I'm going to take these two off. Let's just give a little bit of a pull on that. Maybe that'll adjust just the placement a little bit. And let's try that again. Ooh, a high of 71. That sounds about perfect. Ugh. Oh, we're also, so we're in an extreme heat warning right now, and we're also in a tornado watch. And I do have to say, it's a funny color outside, so we'll see. We'll see where that leads. But I think it the watch ends at, I think they both end at like 10 p.m., so, you know, by the time we're done here, we'll be getting close to that. All right, so see, this is so much closer and this actually isn't so bad either. I think we're, we're much better off. I'm actually gonna 
let's just be picky. I'm gonna pull a little bit more on this one, get it a little higher. All right, so there we are. Yeah, that's looking good. So let's let's uh, let's do the other one right away. Yeah, you know what? I don't wanna. I wanna. I wanna sew this one. See how we do. Then we'll move on. All right. Zoop. Oh, you're 103 and have just been falling asleep for the last hour. Yeah, that's that's kind of how we have felt today. Like it's just taking so much energy just to concentrate and uh, it's annoying. All right, you know, I'm kind of tempted to sew it this direction because I think these are matching up a little bit better. Although my wonder clips are upside down, but I think I'm going to do it this way anyway. All right. Ah, that's making me nervous, but we're going to do it. Oop, forgot to, um, I've been putting a little, I've been separating the motor from the the piece because the wheel, I don't want the wheel that runs the machine pressing on the other wheel because it makes a dent. So I keep, I keep stuffing something there and I forget to take it away. Now, now the wheel should hit. There we go. All right. So I am kind of aiming at these, uh, the tips of these wonder clips because that's my quarter inch mark. So it was about right there. Not sure if it was a good idea to um, do this upside down, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it seems like I might have been a little bit big on my seam allowance there, but let's, I got to get my, uh, basket of, basket of, uh, liters here going again. All right right sides together. All right. Next, let's see how we did and we'll do the same for the other other half here. That's looking pretty good. What about here? Yeah, maybe maybe a hair off. Oh yeah, that is kind of a little. Oh, when I pull on it though, then then it seems like it matches up a little bit better. So I think maybe we did okay. Let's uh, let's just do the other one before before pressing. So all right, I'm gonna we'll do the other one right here. Um, all right, so same thing. I'm just gonna put right sides together, and let's start trying to line up the seam. So all I'm doing is I'm lining up the edge, you know, making sure it's flat. And then where there's a seam here, that's where I'm going to put my first clip. And remember that second mark on these mini clips, you can kind of see they have little, uh, little markings on them on the base. That second one in is the quarter inch one. So I'm watching that I'm lining it up with my edge. So uh, we, we measured that yesterday just to make sure we were doing it at the right spot. And it seemed to work. This seemed to work just using this as a measuring tool, which I haven't really done before. But for this, it's working rather good. In theory, if I sewed everything great, I should just be able to put these two pieces together and sew it and have everything match up. But, you know, that doesn't always work. All right, there we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, so that is, yep, those are little measurements on there. Ooh, see, I, I think I'm a little off again here. I think they all need to, all, all three need to scooch, like this needs to scooch that way a little bit. So let's, let's just start fresh, which, which looks like the case. It looks like it's too far down that way. Let's try that again to get these other edges matched up a little bit better. 
All right. I think we're going to be better this time. Ugh. I always have such a hard time handling these. I, I flung one across the room yesterday, right before uh, going on air here. Oh, you have to watch last night's video. You want all the tips. Yeah, last night we tried to do it with pins too, and that actually worked really well. So kind of in the same way that we do our foundation paper piecing on a different, like, a, uh, not this time, but where you have to match up foundation paper pieces, we kind of did a sort of job like that. Okay, this one, this first one, that one's way better. And the second one I think is decent. Yeah, actually all these points I'm thinking are looking pretty good now. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling all right with this. I think we just go for it. All right, so again, I'm kind of aiming, you know, I'm doing my normal quarter inch, but I'm also keeping in mind that it's kind of at the tip of these uh, wonder clips. I'm keeping my eye on there. And then when I take them off, I'm putting, putting the, uh, my stiletto right there as a reminder that that's the point I'm aiming, aiming for right there. And last one, right there. All right, and okay. Uh, I need uh, my leader. I'll just take the one from this side because it's, I got another side to do on it. Uh, it was just so fun to watch my dad and, and John make those glass pieces. Just what an interesting art form. Really was cool. Ah, those look amazing. Yay! Okay, I am uh, way above and ha uh, beyond happy with how all of these points turned out. Uh, I was nervous about doing that, but uh, man, they're looking good. All right, let's give these a press. And then it's the easy part. We just got to sew, sew all these strips together. So, all right, let me just uh, look at the instructions on the direction. Get the iron going again. The direction that they should be pressed. Okay, the, um, this top piece gets pressed downward. And then all five pieces get sewn together. Okay, let's do that. Okay, down I said, yeah. All right. Okay, so it's going in this direction. All right, so I'm gonna press this first and plop it in this direction. Oh, I just, yeah, I just love the pieces that he made. And I love that, that glass is a like function. I love function in art, you know what I mean? Or art and function that way too. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, you know, that's what a quilt is, right? A quilt is a functional piece of art. I just, there's just something special about it, right? Um, but yeah, so that uh, that glass I love, and even the um, the cup, I mean, and then the the one where the light comes through in the window, I mean, that's a useful tool of beauty, <laughs> beauty in the house. All right, that's looking super cute. Look at this piece, that's pretty intricate. How fun. All right, let's do the other half and then we'll start putting these together. Oh yeah, there's actually, a, Gretchen, there's a chihuly in the um, entryway of the, uh, the Mia, the, Minneapolis Institute of Art here in town, which is actually connected to the college I went to. But yeah, right in their entryway, there's a they have a chihuly. It's um, an orange and yellow pile of squiggles uh, that. All the squiggles are together in a ball shape, and it's uh, just a, like a hanging chandelier. That's that's the chihuly that, that we have here. Okay, I think we got that pressed pretty well. 
yeah, those points are looking amazing. All right, let's uh, let's finish this guy up. Uh, so, all right, now it's just sewing these these guys together. So why don't we do this um, where we do the column sewing? So let's let's sew these together, and then let's sew. So okay, let's sew these together. Then let's sew these together while this is still on the machine. Then we'll snip this one off and then sew this guy to it. And then we'll take both off and sew them together. That's gonna be, I think, the process here, just so we can stay on the machine as long as possible without using a leader. All right, let's do it. Oh, the Cincinnati Art Museum has a giant one in the entryway too. Oh, that's that's awesome, Leslie. I would love, where is it? Is it like, um, isn't Seattle or something that they, where the, I don't know, we watched a thing where there was a, like a whole water garden of Chihuly stuff. Um, I'd like to go check that out sometime. Okay, so I'm just noticing something right now. We do have a few things that we need to pay attention to on this. Um, I'm just gonna move so the comments are a little bit out of the way, way here. All right, we do have a point here that we wanna pay attention to. So I don't want to necessarily clip that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this this way and sew this way because then I can sew right over that point. I can see where that crosses. I want to make sure to get that. So in this case, I'm going to sew with the big side up. But that, that looks like the only point that, or the only like thing to pay attention to. Oh, and wow, look, look at the different sizes of this. So I am clearly sewing, uh, um, <laughs> I am clearly have a too big seam allowance. Uh, but you know, I did that to match up the points a little bit better. But look, I, I have like almost a quarter of an inch uh, excess here. So I'm gonna have to tug on this a little bit to kind of make up for that. Ugh. So this is going to be a bit smaller than the than the um, than it should be probably, but oh well. I'm happy with the points at least. Okay, let's see. Oh, big on the bottom, right? So we are doing that. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna kinda, I don't wanna pull too much cause I don't want it to pucker or, or anything, but I am gonna just kinda pay attention as I go. I'm, I'm kinda matching up the bottoms here. Ooh, Wichita, Kansas, there's a Chihuly suspended walkway. That sounds interesting. All right, let's uh, get my edge lined up here. Okay. Now I'm aiming for that point. And I'm just trying to keep my edges together and hope that these end up close to uh, next to each other or close to the same size. All right, there's our first one. Let's uh, deal with this other column side. Again, I need to pay attention to that, to that where those points meet. So I'm gonna sew on this side again. I mean, yeah, so watch this. If you guys haven't seen what a, gosh, I don't even know what it's called, like a glass making room? I don't know. I'm sure it's called something, a hot room or something. Um, go check out a Netflix, if you have Netflix. Uh, it just came on it the other day, um, blown away. But that, it definitely, uh, that totally looks like what it looked like when my dad and, and John were were in there. Like they used all, all those things. Like, so there's a bunch of different types of furnish, furnaces and ways to keep things hot and they used all those. And so I, I like knew some of the vocabulary already, which was cool. And it was just really, really neat. So that is my current show recommendation. The check-in area of the ceiling at the Bellagio. Oh, it has a huge ch Chihuly flowers. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, Jenna says she was just in Venice and the glass blowers sang as they worked. Ah, oh, how cool. Oh, dang, that point couldn't get any better. Check that out. Yes, okay. 
This is all about the points, this one. That looks awesome. So, all right, let's sew this middle piece on. Uh, we have another point to deal with down here. So right there. So again, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to aim for that point. Let's just plop that down first. Yeah, I mean, that glass is no joke. That's, that's, I mean, ugh, those big things have to be just so heavy, I would think. Like, I mean, even... Even the glass that John did, I mean, like that paperweight, that's, that's got some weight to it, and, and so does the glass, the, uh, the cup. I call it a glass, but <laughs> we're talking about glass, so you might not know what I'm talking about, but the, the cup. Alright, so now this matches up better. Alright, so I'm aiming at that point, and now I'm just um, trying to keep, keep all these edges and ends together for the rest of the way. Okay, and this time we do need a leader because we just have two pieces to sew left. And it is almost time to cut more of these, which is crazy. More of these leaders for the magic quilt project. Oh yeah, so that happens quite a bit in in the show the the blown away show they've they've been dropping some pieces but it's such a dance and a timing thing like it's not like quilting where you can just stop and walk away or go really slow and uh, things will be fine you gotta like be on top of it it's got a rhythm it's just just fascinating really fun to watch okay so let's see how we did on this point here. Ha ha, that is looking fabulous too. Woo! All right, one more to get, and then we have got all the points just perfect. So hope I didn't jinx myself just then. But all right, let's flip this around. Oh, did we look at this one yet? Oop, that one's looking not too shabby. I'm good with that. All right, let's flip this around and I'm gonna sew with this piece on top because I need to, I wanna hit, that's my only cross mark that I need to hit. Oh, there's a glass florals when you enter the Mayo Clinic. Oh, interesting. It's just neat that places get art like that, you know? There's there's a place for art in the world. Like big, big, like significant, crazy art. All right, I just got it in there to get going and now I'm, now I'm kind of lining, I'm lining up the bottom here. So when I sew, they match up at the end and matching up this edge as best I can. All right, and then I'm kind of letting the machine feed it feed itself after that. Okay, I need to aim for that point. And I think we'll just grab this other leader again and use that. My foot's got a little, or my pedal's got a little squeak to it, which I kind of like. All right, let's see how this point ended up. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's interesting. So the point looks good, but look, I am at a totally different level. This goes up here, and this is down here. <laughs> so that's going to be, oh, maybe when we press it, we'll have a little shift to it. So I might not have, um, I might have cut some of these a little on the bias or something. Work, work. Oh well. So let's uh oh gosh, like right here too. I should have looked at that a little bit closer, I guess. Yep, we are <laughs> up here these are all shifted down. Okay, so I didn't even think to look at that. So 
All right, good. <laughs> Can't all be perfect. I got the perfect points on this, but uh, there we go. Got some funny funniness in it. All right, so let's uh, let's press and uh, see how this ends up. Okay, I'm just checking again what direction. Okay, in and out. So we press away from these inside places. So I'm just gonna go over it like this, I think. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just start on this side, I think. We'll just pull this one lightly. These in the middle and then out this way too. I think I'm gonna to have to hit this more from the front. All right, they're, they're going in the right direction now. Oop, geez, I just flipped those guys up though. All right, let's flip it over and then I'll pull on it a little bit. Yep, I did not line them up across. Oh well. Yep, th those little mistakes sneak up on you, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> You think you thought of everything, but you know. I'm just trying to kind of pull on it a little bit. Because I suspect it's probably not quite wide enough either. Maybe if I kind of press on the, oh, maybe not. But like pull on the bias a little, like the diagonal a little bit, maybe they'll appear a little bit more lined up. I don't know. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All right, I think that is that. It's just a little wiggly over here. Okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna shimmy you over here again. Oh, you made, uh, Barbara says she made this one twice and had totally different problems each time. Isn't that so funny? Like. You just never know, right? So there we are. I think it turned out so sweet. So, you know, this will, remember, um, you know, this will be clipped to like here once it's sewn into the quilt. So it'll look, you know, there won't be that bump out on top. But I think that is just, it turned out just really pretty and subtle, I think. But yeah, gosh, that is funny. I didn't even, that did not even occur to me to attempt to line those up. So what I could have done, I think, is if I'm thinking about it now, what I could have done is line up, do one side. Like I could have done one, like I could have sewn this to the middle piece. And then I could have actually folded the middle piece. I could have like creased it at all those points. See like that, and then creased it at this point. And then that line would have extended all the way to the other side. I could have done that at each point. And then I could have matched match this line up with that too. So I could have worked at it a little bit harder for everything to match because there's probably some stretch in this fabric. So I could have, yeah, like this here too, I could have put a little crease into there. Yep, and just extended that line. And then when I sewed this piece on, I would have had those markings to line up. So if I would do it again, I would, uh, I would think about that. But that ain't happening. <laughs> uh, but if if uh, you're at the point where you're sewing it together like this, maybe something to think about. So sew, sew like the one side on, and then fold fold at all these uh, seam parts like where they meet, uh, just to get that line to extend across. And then when you sew this side on, match up. You know this line should actually be way up here. This line should be there. You know that line should be way up here. To so you know something to think about down here too would have been a good good place to, to fold. And you know, this needed to be scooped up quite a bit. So uh, something to think about if you're at that part of this. But there we go, that guy is done. So we are kind of at the stage where we can start putting some blocks together. So let's, let's get a little higher here. Okay, so scooch this out of the way, don't need that anymore. So I have, we actually have a pile of blocks done. So we really could uh, um, put some together. So I'll just show you all, all my blocks that I have done right now. We have this, um, we could actually just start putting them together, right? 
Well, let's let's just page through them, and then we'll pick four randomly to put together. I'm kind of trying to keep it keep it random. So we got the so. Remember this guy with that cute little strawberry. And then we got some um, like ornate pieced ones. Oh, look at him! He's cute. Gosh, oh my god, I forgot all about this guy. Man, they just all kind of run together. Oh, I don't remember what direction this one goes. We'll have to, oh, I think it goes like this. Yep, I think like that. Gosh, that one's intense. Oh, this was the Estelle, Estelle block, wasn't it? Hooey. Some mountains, these other triangles. I like that, two different triangles. Holy cow, we did a ton, ton of these already. <laughs> this guy uh, that we did a while back, that's not not in yet. And this one too. Gosh, those seem old, don't they? All right, so I'm going to kind of close my eyes. We're just going to kind of scramble these, and I'm going to pick four. How about that? I'm like literally closing my eyes. So all right, we'll pick this one. We'll pick this one. We'll pick uh, this one, that one, and this one. All right, what did we get? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna scooch those out of the way. One, two, three, I think this went that way. Four, all right, I think, I think we're gonna do these four. Let's pick another four as well. I think we might have, um, we could maybe sew a couple more together. All right, this is gonna be our first set. Maybe we re, oh gosh, out of my way. Maybe we rearrange it a little differently. Kind of like these mountains. I don't know, I kind of like those up, up here. This is kind of how we started, isn't it? All right, let's, let's leave it at that for now. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna randomly pick some more out of here. All right, let's pick this one. That one, that one, and all right, what do we got there? <laughs> oh, these are fun. These are all kind of sunshiny. That's a good grouping. I like the, these together. Like that? That looks pretty cute. How about like that? All right, we got two groupings. All right, let's see, you know, there is plenty left, but um, maybe we'll, oh gosh, why don't we do another four right away? Should we be more picky about them? No, I'm gonna pick random again. All right. All right, I don't know what's here. Let's pick this guy. Oh, I think I got two there. Let's just do the two. Let's do whatever this one is and whatever this one is. Gosh, there's still a lot left. All right, let's 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 see what we got there. Here, we'll just go like that. I'll scooch him off to the side. What are these for? Oh, the one we just finished. Little elephant and this guy. Oh, that's a nice set too. I think that looks good together. Um, all right. How many are left? Just out of curiosity. One, two, three, four. Oh, we just have four, four left. That seems odd. I thought we had more than that. I guess not. One, two, three, four. Well, should we do these four together as well? Let's, um, there's not really a spot for them right now, is there? Hold up. Let's, uh, just tilt it, we'll, we'll go back in this corner. We got the horsey. Got a little heart. We got our so. I think maybe that one will have to go down here. And our little ice cream cone. <laughs> oh, the ice cream cone, that one's funny. I think maybe let's let's try switching these guys. 
Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, we got four groupings. That's great. Okay, so let's um, let's just start. Um, I'm gonna just leave kind of all these out of the way. Uh, I probably don't have enough sashing here, but we can get started. So uh, let's see. So how this works, what we're doing here is I'm adding sashing and what I'm doing is we're adding sashing to the middle. Well, to the middle of all these blocks. So let's see, I only have five more pieces left, so we'll have to cut more of these next time. So kind of like that. And then we grab one of these bits. I'm just going to randomly grab. There we go. And that goes in right in the center there. So, all right. So I think what we can do, I'm not sure we've trimmed these down yet. So I think what I'm going to do is just sew this guy together and we'll have our long piece. And I actually might just sew a couple more of those. So, so I think maybe Monday, let's just, uh, let's just sew all of these together. Uh, but we need to cut more fabric. So right now I'm going to just make a bunch of center lines with what I can with the rest of um, what I have here. That'll be a good start. So this one, you know, can go in, a, in the center of one of these other guys. And then I just have enough. Oh, that's that's all I have left for fabric. So I can really only do those two. I only have one left over. So uh, let's let's do that. Let's just start there, sewing those two together. And we will work up from that. I shouldn't have put that grouping on a cutting board because I need I'm gonna need that cutting board to to do this later, but. We can sew something now. Let's just grab that other one right away and sew it to a strip. Oop, barely enough area to cut off there. All right, and then let's sew, whoop. So a strip to the other piece. Oh, the horse would eat the ice cream. Oh, that's funny. I could put those next to each other again. Yeah, maybe we'll rearrange these a little bit more. We do have that option. It's kind of fun just being random and living with it because I, there, I definitely probably, I would have taken more time and, and chose stuff Probably, you know, I would have worried about what would go where and, and all that or like, does this look good with this or do I need more, you know, appliques in this one or is it too much appliques or is it too much embroidery or too many piece things? But the thing is, it's going to feel the same no matter, no matter what goes together, you know, because ultimately they're going to all be close to each other in the quilt and it's not worth the time for it to be. You know, it's just so random, why bother bother with that? So let's get another leader. So random, random in, in my case, worked just as well as picking it out, I think. Saved us some mental energy. <laughs> mental fatigue at having to make decisions. Oh gosh. Yeah, okay, so there there's still a thread there. I thought thought we lost our thread there. It made a couple funny sounds. All right. So we have two little center areas. So that would go here and um and another one. And I think what I'm going to do right now is let's clean this up a little bit cuz I want to um, cut some more or trim some up a, li a little bit at least. So let's um, 
let's kind of lay these together. So, all right, I know that those are together. I need some workspace here. I can't leave these all laying out here. So let's just, that's, these are the top and these are the bottom, at least for now, top and bottom. And you know what? I think I'm gonna just layer them on top of each other. There we go. These, and we'll, we'll start here. Okay. Yeah, and even this we don't need yet. Okay, so let's, let's actually tr cut ourselves some more white. That will get us a good start for tomorrow, I think. All right, I'm just grabbing some more white fabric. So these are all, these are all one inch by uh, six and a half inches. So I'm just gonna cut a pile more of those. I haven't been counting or anything because all I know is that they're in between everything that we do here. And so we're gonna be using them a ton. So I figure I just cut a bunch till I get sick of it and then, then um, move on. So, all right, these, you guys got to get out of my way too. There we go. All right, and I think I'm going to just, to make this easy, I'm going to fold these in half and trim a bunch of strips. I'm not quite sure how many we'll be able to get. I think probably only two out of each of these, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Let's get these. We can probably do four at once, two maybe. All right, so I'm gonna give that a little press and I'm just pressing them together just cause it's easy to keep it all together right now. All right. And then we'll fold this together and start trimming. Get a whole pile of one inch strips out of here. So I'm lining up, I'm lining up all the selvages on uh, on an edge here because I want to make sure that I trim all those off. Oh, they're pretty, pretty close together so I'm gonna zoom in this way a little bit and then I'm also lining up the bottom edge uh, with um, a line on my ruler because then I can get these the fold. I'm getting I'm putting the folded edge on the line because then when I unfold it in theory everything will be straight. So all right let's let's grab a ruler and all this mess and uh, my uh, cutting glove and rotary cutter and we will just cut a pile of strips yet tonight. Okay. There we go. Out of here. All right, I think I'm gonna use the double ruler method so I don't so I make sure that I get good, good one inch strips without having to move all my fabric. All right, that looks good. Scoops that out of the way. All right, strip number one. I'm just going to shush it to the side a little bit. I want to keep them together because we'll cut our six and a half inches out of there. All right, our second. I'm just going to do a pile of these at once.
Yay, I'm excited. Let's let's just get these sewn together really quick. I don't think I'll quilt them or anything yet because I'm like I said I'm, I'm on the I'm on the like train of just getting blocks made, but it would be cool to have these actually sewn together because then they'd be out of our way and then we'd be starting like a whole new set. So I, I like that idea. Oops, I moved a little bit there. I'm trying to keep it square too with the fold. All right. Next. So I think this is four pieces folded. So each one of these will get us four pieces, which is great. You can tell I got quiet. I always get so nervous during cutting. I think I'm just afraid of my ruler zooming out of the way. Wasting fabric, I don't know, or just plain measuring. Or just the danger involved that could be. All right, I think this will be my last one just because I'm running out of um, a good place to put my hand here and then we'll cross cut all these. Because I think this is a yard, so. Oh, then I should be able to get more out of these. I'll have to do the math on this. Ugh, math. Shipshawana, that is the most fun word. <laughs> All right, let's cross cut these into some six and a half inches. All right, so I'm gonna try and do this all at once. I'm gonna align. All right, I just wanna see the edges to make sure that, I'm, that I have them all here. Yeah, these are, these are all the edges. I'm gonna trim all of those off. I want them all to be on a straight line though. You know, this might be better going this way. We're gonna do it this way. Just gotta scooch them down. Then I can cut more at once. Make sure they're all in there. Yep. Yeah, my my family and I went to Shipshawana once and went to uh, the um, what do they even call it? That that tent sale, um, like kind of rummage sale or craft fair type thing. And that was just really, really fun. I got, I actually got two, you know, that, that wooden ironing board that I have, that like antique wooden ironing board. I got two of those there. That's where I got them from Shipshawana there. 
I just freaking love them. I, I want to hang them up on the wall, actually. I'd love to have them on the wall as art pieces. I just never, um, never got that far yet. But I would love to... The flea market, that's the word. Um, the Shipshawana flea market. But I would love to hang them up on the wall in a way that, you know, like two of them next to each other, like this, like a white wall with both of the ironing boards hanging up like this, but on hooks or somehow where you could actually take them down and use them, but they just fill the wall like an art piece. That's what I would love, love, love to do, to do with them. Here we go. We are cutting all of these bits all at once. Oops. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna flip this around just because I don't, my ruler is only six inches long and I need six and a half inches. So I'm going to just rotate this and then I'm gonna use my six and a half inch ruler, but I have to do it kind of more individually because I don't have enough room for all of them. So we'll do these three first. Oof, I think I scooched, scooched this one, there we go. Shipshawana, it's just fun to say. All right. And I don't think these guys are long enough. Nope, so we have a bunch of little one inch strips to, we might need these for, for one of our blocks, who knows? Okay, starting our stack though. So we should have 12 here and 16 down here, so that's good. Getting all prepped. We'll finish cutting these up and then that will be it for tonight, but this is good. We're getting all ready to go for, um, for Monday. We'll just sew all these together on Monday. I don't, think, I don't think it'll take more than a day. So we'll sew all of these together on Monday and then we will get on to the octopus block. So remember, we're doing the octopus block after this one after the block that we're doing now, uh, the willow, the happy willow. So we'll do that. Let's just hit these, this bottom one here. All right, so first up, let's just sew these together so it's done and out of our way. And uh, um, then Tuesday, we'll jump back and, and do, the, do the octopus, because that was the plan, the happy willow, then the octopus block. Okay, we're back in business again. We got some strips. So yeah, so tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Monday, we'll finish this up, get it all out of our way, and then start the octopus block. So all right, I'm gonna flip you guys around and we'll call it a Friday. Hello again there. There we go. <laughs> it's always so silly flipping that back around. All right, you guys. So I will get this up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies on YouTube. Uh, this is great. I'm, I'm happy that we're getting these out of the way. Sewing them together, made some decisions, got that other block done, and I got to share John's uh, John's glasswork today. So I'm, I, it, was, it was a fun Friday for me, and I hope you guys are like seeing, seeing his... Uh, his little pieces that he made. I think they're just awesome. Oh, and thanks. Uh, I posted a picture of this shirt earlier today. Uh, so you should check that out. It was made really interestingly. So uh, go check out the Facebook post about that um, or Instagram post. So awesome, you guys. Have a great uh, weekend and uh, stay cool or warm. <laughs> if you're, uh, if you, if you're whatever you need to be. <laughs> so all right, you guys. Uh, see you Monday. Have a great weekend. Good night.